Hi everyone. So INICT exam is over, and whenever any exam is over, it brings lot of mixed reaction. Some of you are extremely satisfied with your attempt, whereas a group of student who might not be satisfied with the attempt. All I will say that whatever that has been done is passed. One day is over, and I want everybody to come out of it. Please remember there is a much bigger exam waiting for us, and that is NEET PG exam. that is going to be on 15th june you have exactly 4 weeks to prepare for it you have already taken a break for a day after the exam and now i want you all have to make sure that you are utilizing your time to fullest so in this video i will not talk about the inict exam rather i will talk about that if i am at your place how i would have effectively utilized my next 4 weeks to give my best shot so that i can get an improvement of if not more at least 25 to 30 extra correct questions in this last four week so let us see this okay so now we have around 28 days for our preparation and if i see that on 20th day that is sunday 15 june we have a neat pg exam so effectively i have 27 days and in these 27 days we all know that the last 7 days should go for revision right so last 7 days should go for revision without a doubt right so how much days i am left with i am left with 20 days right now in these 20 days i know that for at least 2 days i have to write gt the minimum of 2 gt i will be writing and no matter what i will do there will be two days that i will be needing for the other things i mean um, uh, you have to plan that when when you go it might be in a different city one day two day is going to be left here and there so effectively i am left with 16 days for effectively reading all my 19 subjects right so what should i do if i am starting from tomorrow that is 19th of may i will give one day each subject now my problem is if i will give one day each subject i don't have 16 19 days i have only 16 days so what i am going to do is i am going to club psychiatry and orthopedics as one day i am going to club radio and um, um radio and anesthesia as another day and i will club ent and dermatology as another day you might club dermatology and forensic medicine also if you want right and now this will save my 3 days and now i will be having 16 days and in these 16 days i will be able to to cover all 19 subjects right so i i am going to make a schedule for you you want to make your own schedule you want to follow your own strategy you can do that also but if you want somebody to give you the strategy follow this so from 19th may i am going to start with an easy subject i will give it to physiology right then 7 then 20th may i will go slightly heavy and i am going to cover obg lot of time people ask me sir how will cover this subject in a particular day but that is a time that we have and what we have to do in a particular day that we going to try to cover right on 21st may i am going to cover psn on 22nd may i am going to cover medicine right now please remember i have only one day now to cover this subject so i have i will try to find out the extremely high yield high yield areas that i have to cover in that right to 22nd may is this 23rd may i am going to cover pediatrics and 24th may i am going to cover surgery right so now i am deliberately taking up very very big subject at the beginning because i am most enthusiastic to cover it whenever i am making a schedule right 25th i am going to put it for a gt and 26th i am going to put it for your own revision you want to do whatever that you want to do in that particular day right that will complete my one cycle then i am going to go to 27th may 27th may i am going to cover radio and anesthesia 28th may i am going to cover ophthalmology right you want to change uh the scheme you can do it in whichever way that you want 29th may i am going to uh, i am going to cover psychiatry plus maybe orthopedics 30th may i am going to go with ent and dermatology 31st may i am going to cover biochemistry right biochemistry and then again 
the first June, right? First June, I'm gonna write a GT, and the second June is your own day, is your own revision time. Second June is also a time when uh, uh, the need, uh, the NBE will announce the city center that in which city that you have. So if you have a center in another city, you can plan your travel and so on, right? Then third June, third June. I'm gonna do pharmacology. Fourth June, I'm gonna do microbiology. Microbiology. Fifth June, I'm gonna do forensic medicine. Sixth June, I'm gonna do pathology. And seventh June, I'm gonna do anatomy. I have put up the more forgettable subjects towards the end. Don't worry about it. In the description of this particular video, you will see the proper PDF of this particular um, uh, schedule that I am creating for you. So don't don't bother about this, right? So pharmacology, microbiology, FM pathology, and anatomy. So with this, I am done with all my 19 subject. And 8th June to 14th June will be my final final lag of revision, where I will be going towards the extremely forgettable subject named sign half-life, um, uh, in, in pediatrics, uh, the uh, land important landmarks, some important tables, uh, which, which are very, very forgettable. So every forgettable stuff that I will be doing in this much time, right? Now, how a particular day will be structured in this revision? In this structure, as I have only one day, if I have all my notes available with me, then I'm gonna try to make sure that the important high yield stuff of my notes I am revising. If you are a DBMCI student, you are using one short revision program to make sure that each and every subject extremely high yielding content you are covering in this particular time. If you are using any other revision program, you can use that particular revision program to cover the important theory part of it. If you have your notes available with you, all the highlighted stuff in your notes that you have, you are covering that particular point, right? Now, um, if you are associated with me in um, auto mentorship program or any other mentorship program that I have, I will be giving you one test of 40 questions, right? One test of 40 questions daily at 7 p.m. And this will be based on the topics that we are covering. But please remember, this will be a live test. This will be between 7 to 7.45 p.m. So 40 questions, 40 questions in 45 minutes that you have to do now this this will be available on the most trusted platform for question practice and that's marrow platform please remember you need to have a access of marrow platform if you want to attempt this test and you can attempt this test only into this particular time if you really want to review this particular test right now once you have done this particular test 745 if you have attempted the test you can review the test and the remaining day can be utilized to identify what are your shortcomings into that particular subject and to strengthen those shortcomings. Trust me guys, if you do not have any other plan, this plan will do wonder in your preparation in the last 28 days, in the last four weeks of the NEED PG exam preparation. And you can take a jump of significant amount of extra correct questions. Whenever you are attempting these tests, do not fall do not forget to follow those golden rules of solving the mcqs that how to improve your accuracy and reduce make sure that reducing your errors reducing your silly mistakes always remember exam is not how much you know it is about your ability to recall in the exam we all have seen that and please take care of these if you think that is anything else that i can help you out let me know if any specific area that you want me to make a video please write it on the comment and i'm gonna make a video this pdf uh, is available in the description read the description and you will find how to get this pdf right take care and may god bless you all